going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread it all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it's all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works, plus the three kids' books. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Overall, the market is flat, but guys, we know what happens tomorrow. So make sure that you're focused on the actual indicators. We have volume, we have tether, and we have USDC. Plus, we have Binance Stablecoin also keeps moving up, guys. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that. But tether still at that 61, 62 billion, and then USDC is slowly moving up. We know the reason why we received a slight pump this month is because JP Morgan is in the game. The Fed just announced two repos. You watched my video yesterday, one for domestic United States, one for international. So guys, plus they're still gonna be doing the $120 billion in purchases for treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. So we know the market is gonna still maintain until September. So guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual app so therefore, you know how much they're doing. They're doing nine and eight hundred billion dollars. Plus, now they've opened up two more repos. So, guys, we know where the manipulation is coming from. Now, tomorrow, guys, of course, we have futures and options, and that normally lasts for about four days, including the weekend. So, like I stated, it's very, very important to watch the indicators. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. But guys, do not let dips scare you. We know we have dips in the middle of the month, end of the month, and then we move right back up. You have to play the game. And it's like I said, JP Morgan is in here. They don't care whether it goes up or down. They're here to take your money. And if you're doing your research, you can take advantage of the volatility. But let's get over into a little crypto news, guys. We have PayPal CEO says Bitcoin buy and sell service could expand to the UK within a month. And then also, guys, they're supposed to be launching their super app wallet that will feature high-yield savings. So, guys, we definitely see the adoption moving forward. But the key is, guys, it's the same hands that's in the legacy market. That's the key. Same banks, same big corporations that are going to take over the private crypto. Big bank takes little bank every single time. Now, we have custody provider Anchorage will custody crypto seized by the U.S. Marshals. Now we have ProFund launches the first Bitcoin strategy mutual fund. And like I stated, guys, we have the same legacy products being moved over to crypto. Now we have Bank of America calls the CBDC more effective than cash. And it definitely will be more effective for the central banks. 
because they'll be able to see everything that you do. So your privacy is out the window. And then plus, once they start airdropping that free money, they'll be able to control what you actually purchase. Now we have Ernest and Young simplify cross-border withholding tax process with blockchain and also JP Morgan other banks are testing. And guys, you know I've said it time and time again. What's so great about blockchain for the central banks is they will be able to tax the globe, take it out automatically. So for those who normally don't pay taxes or as much, it won't be that way because everything is tracked. They know exactly how much you owe automatically and automatically take it out. And now also, guys, we have the senators want to increase crypto taxes to help pay for the infrastructure bill. And we know all this money that they're printing off the printing press. And then they tell you that you actually owe the debt and you need to pay it back. And they're printing the money off of the printing press. And this is why you're not taught finances in school. Because this whole economy that we have right now is based off of debt. That would change with digital currencies, but this economy right now, debt is good as long as it's corporate debt. Now we have Cardano smart contracts creep towards full launch, and it probably won't be full launch until October. Do not forget, guys, very important, AGIX, singularity net, that's exactly where we're moving to, smart cities. All that's going to be built on Ethereum and Cardano. Please do your research. Now we have Bitcoin mining Genesis digital asset raises $125 million. Also, we have Ghana vice president declares Africa should embrace digital currencies. And as soon as the C word took effect, technology rolled on the back of it. Not just digital currencies, but all technology is moving forward and fast. Robots, drones, algorithms are definitely coming. Now we have the European Union entrust 30 million to new blockchain and digital asset funds. So guys, again, more adoption. And basically we have Israeli government seeks to track crypto holdings above 61,000. And guys, we know with blockchain, every single penny is going to be tracked. That's the reason why these private digital currencies like Monero are going to be so important. Now we have Yield Guild Games gone in 30 seconds. Sold all 25 million of the native tokens for $12 million. So guys, we know how important gaming is going to be. And lastly, guys, we have California-based company Glen Oaks Escrow refinances a home loan backed by Bitcoin. So guys, we know this digital economy is going to be moving faster and faster, especially in 2022. Well, we know for a fact regulation is coming. And then plus, we know trillions and trillions of dollars are going to come in to build this new infrastructure. It is very important to get your friends and family educated because when they find out everything is planned out, it's going to be too late. But that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids books. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, Book Links, and Crypto Links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, why everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks. The C word, the biotech stocks, and why everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. 
Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.